there's been a rash of animals that have been killed. We've had a couple with bullet wounds. Uh, they've been mutilated. That's the worst part. Uh, there's a lot of, it's senseless, it's cruel, it's repugnant, it's illegal. A serial killer on the loose along the Gulf Coast tonight. This time, the targets are dolphins. At least six of these beautiful and highly intelligent animals have been found brutally murdered. Yes, I say murdered, because that's what happened. One dolphin was found with bullet holes. Others were mutilated. The killer chopped off one's tail and another's lower jaw. And officials fear there could be more victims out there. Alerts have been put out along the Gulf of Mexico from Louisiana to Florida, including uh, the Mississippi and Alabama area. Be on the lookout for somebody going after the world's second most intelligent animal. Straight out to one of my heroes, Rick O'Berry. You know him from the Oscar-winning documentary, The Cove. He is also in charge of DolphinProject.org. Rick, we are approaching this as a crime story. Uh, we don't want to name any names, but do you have any idea? Let's talk the way we do about regular crime stories. Motive. Who would have the motive? Is this some sort of stupid sadist, or could this be somebody with some kind of other motive out there, Rick? Well, it could be, two, it could be both of the above. Uh, we have seen this in... Uh, other parts of the world were working on a similar problem in Indonesia. Uh, the cove in Japan you mentioned, uh, they're killing the dolphins because they are competition. The real problem is overfishing. So what you saw in Mississippi, uh, Biloxi and um, uh, that area, it could be angry fishermen. Overfishing is the problem. We have to stop eating uh, seafood. The, the fishermen in these towns see, see dolphins as competition and kill the competition. Each one of the dolphins will eat 30, maybe 50 pounds of small fish a day. Uh, in the case of pilot whales, up to 100 pounds a day. So that could be the problem. That could be the problem. We see that all over the world. Listen, as I'm talking to you, I, it's 2 o'clock in the morning here. I'm in the south of uh, Spain right across the water from Marrakesh. I'm up to uh, my waist in water trying to rescue a dolphin here by the name of Marcos, <clears throat> who is the most beautiful dolphin, no more than three feet long. Uh, and he keeps looking across the water to Marrakesh looking for his pot. He became separated, maybe oh. through fishing or whatever it was. And uh, when it's daylight tomorrow, we'll try to get some helicopters and try and find his mother. His mother's still well, out there somewhere. I know that the family bonds of dolphins are extremely strong, and we want to solve this case and warn anybody, whoever's responsible, you can go to jail for one year per dolphin. That's six years in jail, as well as a $100,000 fine per. Now, we're going to bring in our HLN investigator uh, on the other side who is going to tell us exactly how we're going to solve this crime. But one thing's for sure, if you know anything, if you know who did this, 1-800-853-1964, call, turn them in. He needs to face justice, or they do if it's more than one. Tonight, the hunt for a serial killer or killers who have murdered six dolphins in the Gulf of a of Mexico, turning the Gulf into a crime scene. We're talking about uh, the areas Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and right now we've got some breaking news. A uh, famed uh, animal advocate, Rick O'Berry, who uh, is an Academy Award winner for the documentary The Cove. You want to say something right now to our viewers. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, well, you said it. People have to be vigilant. Keep your eyes and ears open on the water. We're going to offer $5,000 reward for information leading up to the conviction of this person. Uh, we're doing the same thing. We're, you know, we're live streaming from the Cove every day as, as we speak here now. They're killing the dolphins for the same reason. Their competition, kill the competition. Overfishing is the big problem. Let's stop fishing and give the dolphins a break. Yeah, and you heard it here first. Uh, John Lieberman, investigative, investigative reporter, we're treating this like a crime story, $5,000 reward. You just heard it on our air. What do you do? And you see the hotline right there, and Noah is treating this like a criminal investigation as well. That's the hotline. You can remain anonymous. And I also know that Noah has informants out there in these fishermen communities, too. They're in the process of gathering information. That reward that Rick just mentioned should help. Somebody needs to drop a dime on this heinous predator of dolphins. Yeah, and also get involved with Rick O'Berry's Earth 
Island Institute you can go to. My website, my Facebook page, Jane Velez Mitchell Facebook, and we're going to have all the information. These highly intelligent animals cannot speak for themselves. Uh, we humans have to speak for them, and we are going to catch that criminal and prosecute. Nancy, next.